Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the uh, 1980 Dungeons and Dragons computer uh, labyrinth game. It's made by Metella Electronics and it was probably made in combination with TSR, um, who of course were the manuf original manufacturers of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, in this game, yeah, you, it can be played solo or it can be played two player. Uh, you basically are going to take the role of an adventurer who's in a labyrinth uh, or a dungeon and trying to uh, find the dragon's tre uh, treasure, avoid being caught by the dragon, steal the treasure and get it back to your secret lair. Um, so we'll start off um, with the uh, rules for the solo player game, the single player game. Alright, we start by turning it on. Uh, there's two adventures, one has a mace, the other has a sword. In this game, uh, I'm missing one of the tokens, but that's no big deal. I'm going to use the mace token. And we start off by uh, selecting any room in the dungeon. I'm going to select this room right here. And that's going to be my secret lair. So I'm trying to find the treasure and bring it back to that location. All right, that's the sound for the, uh, the other player, but we're not going to play with that player. So I'm going to just go to the next turn, and that's actually going to start the game. Okay, from here, I'm going to start exploring the dungeon. And I do that by... Uh, starting my secret layer and just taking uh, taking uh, any location there's no diagonals in the game okay when i go and hear that noise that means that there is a wall so i'm going to place one of these wall sections there and then i have to return to the previous room oh boy i'm in uh, some big trouble here so as of right here the dragon uh, so i put a marker right here and that, I know that the dragon's treasure is somewhere within three squares of that. So it could be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. It could be here, here. Uh, it can't, I don't think it could be here. It could be one, two, three. So I'm in big trouble at this point. Uh, this might be one of the fastest games ever uh, because uh, the dragon can uh, technically get me right away. So I don't really know where it is. When I kind of have an idea of where the treasure is, I'm going to put this token on. Okay, all right, I keep going. Uh, that ends my move, so I, I have to start again. Okay. I moved, I must have moved the eight uh, sections. Now I know the dragon's gonna move one, one spot. I have no idea where the dragon is. I'm gonna assume he was here and I'm just going to go to there. Okay, so I'm just trying to take an educated guess here. Okay, that's a wall. The dragon's, so the dragon moves after he wakes up. He moves one square every turn. Okay, all right. And like I say, I, I'm in big trouble here. the dragon's third fly. I'm just going to kind of record that with these walls. Uh, I'm going to say you went to there. What I'm trying to do at this point is I'm just trying to lead him hopefully on, on a bit of a wild goose chase. This is his fourth turn. So I know he's moved four, and it's pretty difficult to determine where he is at this point. He might catch me at this point. And he has. So he actually caught me. He's here. So my movement now will go down to six bases. That uh, doo 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 means uh, he's attacked successfully and caught me. All right. Hopefully he's far enough away uh, that, so that kind of tells me that, I think that was his fifth move. If he was here, one, two, three, four. I guess it's probably somewhere over here. So let's see where we can go here. Okay, so 
So the treasure was three spots away. I've now successfully gained the treasure. I know the dragon's probably here. My guess is he's probably here. He may be here. He has to move closer to me, but he can move different ways. I've only got four movement spots. So at this point, if I was to go one, two, three, four, I think that's probably my best option here. Um, I can't remember if I had moved. Uh, I think that he flies. I had four movement points. My guess is he's here. Um, I have to get out of here. Again, if I'm if I'm backed in by a wall now, I'm in, in a lot of trouble. He, he's just gonna simply catch me. I have to get at least two squares away from him. And I can't go one, two, three, four, because that's not for enough, so. Here, here, my guess is here. Uh oh, I'm dead now. I didn't remember the way. Oh. I must have. how uh, the game works with the uh, the base game. So we could probably do a, a two-player version now. Um, there's also an advanced game that you can do, and the advanced game has uh, secret doors. So basically, uh, the sound of the door is going to be this. If it has that, that means that there's a there's a secret door there, uh, and that it's currently locked. So if it'll be a regular pip if you move through the door, but next time you move through it, it could be it could be closed. So the door could be open or closed. So if if that's your only way to, to escape the dragon, uh, that might trap you. In the two player game, uh, both players are gonna move throughout the dungeon and try to explore. And uh, you can go on the same space as the other adventure, but once somebody finds the treasure, moving on to the other space of the whoever has the treasure or that person moves on to you, uh, combat begins. The uh, strengths are unknown uh, of the two two adventures, and one will be the victor. Uh, so and and the computer randomly changes the strengths of the of the players. Whoever uh, wins will. Uh, uh, stay there and the other person will go to their home. Sometimes it's supposed to make the sound the sound of the adventure before it goes into the attack sequence, but sometimes I found that the computer doesn't do that. So so knowing who has the treasure, sometimes tricky, it's too bad there weren't some LED lights or something on it. Uh, you know, we can uh, we can try a two-player game uh, just quickly to show you, and we'll also try it with the secret doors just so that you can uh, understand that as well. So uh, at any time, you can also change the mode of the game. You can actually switch so that it goes into the the advanced mode or the or the basic mode, and you can do that actually uh, in you know you can do it before any player's turn. You can just simply switch the level by doing that. So we're going to switch the level by holding down the shift key and the level key. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that puts it to the second level. Okay, so I got to go like this. Okay, and uh, I always make the first guy the maze guy. I'm going to put this in here. I have no idea what just 
just happened. We're gonna surf again. Uh, okay, I believe that's the. Now I don't have the other uh, the other. So that's the mace person is the first player. Okay, the doo 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 means that it's now the second player's turn. Alright. Uh, there's always two, en two ways out of your uh, secret entrance. So it can't be blocked in three ways, it's, it's only ever blocked in twice. So for example, I know that these two are, are, are valid routes here. best to map out the locations that are close to your home location. Okay. So I don't have another marker here, so I'm just going to use this uh, dime. I'm in Canada, so it's a 10 cent piece. Uh, that just tells me, you know what, I'll use this piece here. So somewhere within three spots of the uh, of this location here is the dragon's uh, secret lair. Dragon's gonna fly. When nobody has the treasure, he flies towards the nearest warrior. So let's assume that it's one, two, three. So he's maybe there. He could have been uh, one, two, three. He could be here. My guess is that he's here, here, uh, the, the, the treasure somewhere in there. You do, do not want to move on to the dragon because that will cause uh, you to lo you'll lose strength. You'll go down from eight movement points to six. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, that noise was one of the secret uh, secret doors. So that door was close, and uh, that was the second player's move, so the dragon's gonna move. So he could go this way again, and it may open this time, but it may not. This person's gonna get caught by the dragon. Ooh. He has not been caught by the dragon. So my guess is that he's there now, which probably means that the treasure was originally here, not here. Okay. Um, the dragon for some reason actually was right here. <laughs> so this person's been caught. And uh, that's what that means that the dragon successfully, this, this now mace player only has six movement points. That is, uh, again, a, a wall or a, a secret door, which wasn't available. Um, sorry, the dragon should have moved one space and he would have moved towards, uh, I think towards this home because I believe we were both on our home locations. I might be wrong.
best. I don't know who he's going after. Uh, he always goes after the closest warrior. I'm gonna go like that. I could be in trouble by going to this location. Or this location. where the treasure may be. And of course there's a door there. The dragon was there. So he's now caught this little player. So they go back there. The dragon now flies one space. And he's going to go after this guy because this person's on their home location. safe in your secret lair. Uh, after a warrior is attacked by the dragon, he always goes back to the secret uh, location. The dragon is invisible. The dragon always goes after the closest warrior or the warrior with the treasure. Um, my apologies. So he doesn't, yeah, he always goes over whoever's closer. Um, so if they're equidistant, I have no idea if the computer changes the scenario. So the treasure was indeed here. And I said it was possibly three spaces away. So this location has the treasure. And that ends his movement. Now this person, uh, if he had uh, if he had six movement, for example, and he had moved five to get to the treasure, he doesn't gain any more uh, movement. If the, uh, if the warrior, though, had only, only used two movement points to get to the treasure, uh, the warrior would still be able to move two, I believe. Okay, so this guy's got a kind of... Now, because he's got the treasure, this guy's got the treasure, uh, he's not going to attack this warrior anymore. Uh, he's going to fly after the person with the treasure. So, uh, But we want to try to get an intercept so we can steal the treasure from the other warrior. So I believe the dragon has to fly towards there. This guy's dead because I forgot to move it. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I got lucky. Not lucky. I, this I think this is an open location. And I believe I'm home safe. And uh, this guy has won. And again, if this guy would have intercepted, uh, there would have been a combat, one of them would have died and went home. The other, the treasure is always left uh, where it is, though. So that is, uh, in a nutshell, how to play the Dragon Dungeons & Dragons uh, Computer Labyrinth game. Uh, I believe uh, really good players, people who play this uh, often, can uh, solo play, can, can usually escape the dragon almost every time. I'm not, not at that level yet. Uh, I do play this with uh, my boys, and uh, we had a lot of fun with it. Um, I did not own this as a kid. As I said, I, I got it in a thrift store. Um, I have quite a few of these kind of uh, electronic games, like the head-to-head -head Coleco games and stuff like that. Uh, you know, they're fun to bring out every once in a while for sure. And uh, this one's certainly no exception. Um, yeah, if you have uh, comments uh, or uh, questions about the game, I think I've got a, a pretty good grasp of, of how the uh, computer works. Again, I do wish that there was a, some kind of LED lights, like if you have the treasure, you know, player one or player two at the treasure, if it, it kind of indicated that, um, that would be really helpful, especially when you go into the, the combats, because uh, 
when when you fight uh, the computer, unless I'm missing it, you know, like it's supposed to give the beep of warrior one or warrior two and then go into the attack sequence, whoever whoever won. Uh, but it, it doesn't really do that. Uh, I found that's kind of maybe a glitch of the of the program. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and uh, and uh, this is Celtic Griffin signing off. Take care.